This will be a quick tutorial video on how to set up and implement the AOIs for the NXR IO-Link Master on a Rockwell PLC. These work on both Control and Compact Logix PLCs. And I've ahead of time I have installed all of the add-on instructions and I have also installed the EDS file for the NXR ahead of time. You can, that can be found on our website. Now the order of which we do these things is important. So this is the first video out of three and it should be followed in this order. So the first thing will be to create a new module on the Ethernet port that the NXR is connected to. And like I said, I have pre-installed the EDS file for this. Go ahead and search for the NXR, create it. It will need a name. Now the IP address that the NXR is currently at is 250.3. And the default module definition needs to be changed. So that'll be changed to exclusive owner, 32 byte with status, and the data type will be an integer. Go ahead and create that module, close out of the pop-up. And now you can see in the controller tags it's created the Ethernet IP input and output data link arrays. So those will be used in the next step. Now, I'm going to put this on a rung by itself in a program by itself, but that's not how it needs to be set up. But the first AOI is going to be the NXR master. And I'm just going to tag everything first. Not everything needs to be tagged. Only the AOI variable itself and then all of the process data or P data variables need tagging. Go ahead and create those variables now. And finally, I'm going to cut and paste from the controller tags the input and output data arrays onto the input and output tags on the AOI itself. Okay, then I'll go ahead and download that to the PLC. And once I switch back to run mode here, it will be very apparent whether or not the connection is working. If no data is visible, then the connection is not working. If you have numbers like input and output voltage right away, you know that your connection is working and the data is correct. There's also no exclamation mark or anything on the Ethernet device here. So what this AOI essentially does is displays everything that's pertinent to the base unit, so low voltage alarms, port down alarms, but it also breaks out all of the process data and relevant bits of information for all eight ports and it groups them into eight port variables. That can be seen here. If we just look at the contents of one of these, you can see they start off with process data in, process data out, and then you have port errors, input data enabled, etc. They're all tagged with descriptions. Now, the device level AOIs are going to take this P data variable, and depending on the type of device AOI that's used, they're going to extract the relevant information from them. So I'm just going to do one of them. I don't need to go through all of them here and I'll use the E3AS since I have one of those on port 1 right now. So I'll tag the AOI itself. And now for the P data variable, I'm going to take the P data from the master the variable for it and drop it on the P data for the device level AOI. I'll go ahead and send that change to the controller. And this device level AOI takes the P data variable from the master, 
and breaks out all of the process data as well as displays any um, information bits that also come across on this PData variable. So you can see the sensor itself, target distance is changing, the outputs are toggling. Um, that's essentially an IODD file in an AOI. It knows what to do with the process data and all those status bits get passed across as well. So I'm not going to go through every single device level AOI. Um, the other one I'll do is going to be the IOL digital AOI. So if you just have digital devices on your NXR, you can just use the IOL digital for that port and you'll treat it the same way. So currently I have nothing on port 3. So I'll grab ports 3, port 3 process data. That doesn't want to scroll. And now I have access to just the digital input and the digital output bits for that port, pin 4 and pin 2. And the inputs are displayed on the right-hand side of the block. And in addition to just digital input and digital output control, there's also short circuit alarms for pins 1, 2, and 4. So that's the NXR master and some of the device level AOIs. I'm going to go offline and the next AOI I'll go over is the NXR service data AOI.